Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Gems of Knowledge. So I am here with another video on the chapter Mensuration of Class 8. Okay, so before starting my video, make sure to subscribe to my channel and also click on the bell button to get the notification as soon as I post my new video. So before starting with the exercise here, let us know few formulas here. Okay, so you can see into the introduction I have written 5 formulas which are related to your exercise 9.1. So let us see the first formula, basic common formulas these are. That is first one is area of rectangle is equals to L into B. Area of square is equals to A into A. We can even say that it is A square. Area of triangle is equals to half into base into height. Area of parallelogram is equals to base into height. And area of circle is equals to pi r square. Okay. So depending on this many formulas, we are going to solve our exercise 9.1. So without wasting our time, so directly we will start with the exercise 9.1. So here you can see the first question is, a square and a rectangular field with measurements are given in the figure. Okay, These are having the same parameter. So they have told us one square and one rectangular field with the measurement. That is this square field is having the 60 meter okay, length. And here this rectangular field is having the 80 meter as its length. So these both the uh, uh, square and rectangle they both are having the same perimeter. What we have to find here which field has a larger area. It means first we have to uh, find out the area of this two. Then we have to identify which one is having the larger area. Okay. So as they have instructed into the question itself let us first write. Okay, you can see here square and rectangular field with measurements as given in the figure have same perimeter. So we can write that perimeter of square will be equal to perimeter of rectangle. Okay. So already they have told us that perimeter of square is equals to perimeter of rectangle. So let us write the formula. What is the perimeter of square formula? 4 into A. Which is equals to perimeter of rectangle will be how much? 2 into L plus B. Okay, this is the perimeter of rectangle. Now 4 into A. A is already given that is how much? A is equals to 60. 4 into 60 we are getting which is equals to 2. So if we open this we, we are going to get 2L plus 2B. Okay. 2 into L it will be 2L plus 2 into B it will be 2B. Next 4, 6 are 24 and this will be equals to 0. So perimeter will be uh, 240. Sorry, this is not centimeter, this is meter we are getting. Okay. Similarly here, 2 into L value we know, that is, length is how much here? 80 meter. Okay. Plus 2 into B value we are not aware of, because here you can see there is no B value mentioned. It is only give, said that length is 80 meter. Okay. So we will keep this B as it is. Then here what we are getting, 240 meter will be kept as it is, which is equals to 2 8s are 16. 160 plus 2 into B. Okay. 240. When you bring this 160 to this side, it will become minus 160, which is equals to 2B. So when you subtract this, we are getting 80 is equals to 2B. Therefore, B will be equals to 80 divided by, if you bring this 2 to this side, it will become divided by. So, 2 ones are 2, 4 za and 0 will be as it is. So, we are getting B value as 40 meter. Okay, breadth here we got it to be as 40 meter. Now, okay, now what we need to find out? We need to find out the area of the field. We need to find the area of both the fields. Okay, so area of square will be equals to formula is area of square A into A. Okay, so it will be A into A will be 60 into 60. So, 6, 6 are 36 and 2 zeros will be as it is. So, it will become 3600 meter square. Similarly, area of rectangle, what will be the formula? Length into breadth. Okay, what is length value here? 80 meter into B value we got it. It is to be as 40 meter. So we are getting 8 fours are 32 and 2 zeros will be as it is. So we are getting 3200 meter square. So into the question they have asked which field has the larger area. So according to this which field is having the larger area we can write square field is having the larger area.
okay so let's move on to the next one okay so here you can see the second question is given where it is stated that mrs kaushik has a square plot with the measurement shown in the figure so this is the square plot you can see the outside one okay because here it is mentioned 25 meter here also 25 meter if the length and breadth are same here we can say that it is a square okay so this is a square plot as shown in the figure she want to construct a house in the middle of the plot so this construction which is shown here a small rectangular box is nothing but the uh, construction to make a house here she wants to make a house here in this part and a, a garden is developed around the house so the remaining part you can see this one this is what she has to develop the garden into this part okay so what we need to find here find the total cost of developing a garden around the house at the rate of 55 rupees per meter square so what we have to find here we have to find the area of this part complete area of this part and we have to find out the total cost of that particular area if the garden is going to be developed there at for 1 meter square rupees 55 means for that total area how much it will be cost okay so let's quickly find out the answer here so as you can see a square has been given here so let us first find the area of the square so according to the formula area of square will be equals to a square that is a into a so it will be a into a which is equals to 25 into 25 it is nothing but 25 into 25 okay so you can see here this a is having the length okay the square will be having the length 25 okay so 25 into 25 we are getting 625 since meter is given it will become meter square area will be meter square okay then now we got the area of square similarly we have to find the area of this rectangular part so area of rectangle will be equals to length into breadth okay so what is the length here it is length is 20 meter so 20 into 15 this breadth is how much 15 so it will be equals to 15 to the 30 and this zero will be as it is so we are getting 300 meter square okay so area of square will be equals to 625 meter square and area of rectangle is equals to 300 meter square now according to the question we have to develop the garden among this part okay so what we have to do is in this complete part complete triangle we have to delete this part okay we have to out of this complete uh, square we have to remove this rectangular part so it will be area of garden will be equals to area of square minus area of rectangle okay so what is the area of square area of square we got 625 meter square minus area of rectangle is how much 300 meter square so 625 minus 300 will be 325 meter square so we got area of this garden will be equals to how much 325 meter square okay now they have already given you can see here find the total cost of developing a garden around the house at the rate of rupees 55 per meter square okay so cost will be equals to cost of per meter square is how much rupees 55 okay so now the cost of 325 meter square will be equals to how much what we have to do here okay so you can see for 1 meter it is nothing but 55 rupees so what about 325 meter so what we need to do here cost will be equals to 325 into 55 we have to do so let us uh, multiply this 5 5 are 25 5 and 2 will be carried 5 2 are 10 plus 2 is 12 1 is carried 5 3 are 15 plus 1 is 16 into again the same thing 5 5 are 25 same thing we are getting 5 2 6 and 1 so if you add this what we are going to get 5 5 plus 2 is 7 6 plus 2 is 8 7 and 1 so what will be the cost 17875 rupees so the total cost will be equals to Seventeen thousand eight hundred and seventy-five. okay next moving on to the third question as you can see here the shape of the garden is rectangular in the middle so this is the shape of the garden you can see it is rectangular from the middle and semi circular at the ends okay it is semi circular actually it should be like this okay semi circular like this as 
at the ends as shown in the diagram find the area and the perimeter of this garden so what we have to find here we need to find the area of this garden as well as we need to find the perimeter of this garden so already the uh, hint is given here length of the rectangle is equals to 20 minus 3.5 plus 3.5 so this whole length is 20 meter here okay so it is this whole length okay including this semi uh, circular regions and the rectangle it is 20 meter so out of that here from here 3.5 and from here 3.5 is subtracted if we subtract from here both what we are getting is we are getting the length of this rectangle and you can see here breadth of the rectangle is given as 7 meter okay so according to this let us first find the area of the rectangle okay so area of rectangle is equals to length into breadth okay so what is the formula we are having length into breadth so what is the length here length is you can see length is given like this so it is 20 minus 3.5 plus 3.5 okay and it is multiplied by breadth breadth value is 7 meter so it will be 20 minus 3.5 plus 3.5 is 7 into 7 okay so 20 minus 7 is 13 into 7 13 7 is 91 meter square so, so we can say that area of rectangle is equals to 91 meter square now we need to find the area of the semicircular regions area of two semicircular regions okay two semicircular regions so as you can see here it is given as two semicircular regions okay one from this side and the other from this side so we can say that together it is one circle okay this half side and this is half side so together it will become one circle so we can take the area of one circle that is pi r square okay so it will be pi value is here so according to this we are getting pi value is 22 by 7 and you can see r square r square is mentioned into here you can see they have already given us this is 20 okay 20 minus this value that is the shorter value that is 3.5 plus 3.5 so that will be our radius so 3.5 into 3.5 since square is given so we are getting 3.5 into 3.5 so 7 ones are 7 7 into 0 0.5 we are getting 3.5 so 22 into 0 0.5 into 3.5 okay so 22 into 0 0.5 we, if we multiply here what we are getting we are getting 11 into 3.5 okay this is 0 0.5 is nothing but half okay it will be similar like this into one zero point five is like this one one and half sorry half so it will be two ones are and two ones are two ones are so we are getting 11 into 3.5 so if we multiply here what we are getting 5 ones are 5 and 5 ones are 5 into 3 ones are 3 and 3 ones are 3 so we are getting 5 8 and 3 point will be you can see point is given after one number so i'm going to put a point over here after one number so what we are getting total area we have to find out okay so total area is equals to area of rectangle plus area of two semicircular region Okay, so what was the area of rectangle? Area of rectangle was 91 plus area of two semicircular regions was 38.5. Okay, so if we add this to what we are going to get 38.5 plus 91. What we are getting 0.5 will be as it is 8 plus 1 is 9 and 9 plus 3 is 12. So the final answer what we are getting is 129.5 meter square. Okay, so this will be the total area of this semicircular region as well as this rectangle. So here what we have found it out already we have uh, got the answer for the area. Now what we have to find is perimeter of this garden. So you all know that perimeter means the outside boundary of this figure. Okay. So outside boundary means it will take this complete part and this part, this part and this part. Okay. So let us write the perimeter here first. Perimeter will be equals to. Okay. So first we need length. Length of rectangle. Okay. So this length of the rectangle we need. This part and from outside this part we need. So we will write 2 times 2 times the length of the rectangle. Okay. 2 times the length of the rectangle. Plus we need the circumference of semicircular region. Okay. So let us see here. 
टू इन टू वट इज द लेंथ ऑफ द रेक्टेंगल लेंथ ऑफ द रेक्टेंगल वॉज हियर वी गॉट इट लेंथ ऑफ द रेक्टेंगल वॉज थर्टीन यू कैन सी ट्वेंटी माइनस सेवन वे आर गेटिंग थर्टीन वे आर गेटिंग सो द लेंथ ऑफ रेक्टेंगल इज थर्टीन हियर प्लस यू कैन सी सर्कम फ्रेंड्स ऑफ सेमी सर्क्यूलर रीजन इज गिवन सो वट इज द सर्कम फ्रेंड्स ऑफ द सर्कल इट इज नथिंग बट टू पाई आर ओके सो यू कैन सी हियर सेमी सर्क्यूलर सर्क्यूलर रीजन इज फ्रॉम बोथ द साइड ओके सो वी कैन कंसिडर इट एज अ कंप्लीट सर्कल हाफ सर्कल इज द साइड एंड द हाफ सर्कल विल बी द साइड सो इट इज द कंप्लीट सर्कल सो वी कैन राइट सर्कम फ्रेंड्स ऑफ टू सेमी सर्क्यूलर रीजन एज टू पाई आर दैट इज सर्कम फ्रेंड्स ऑफ सर्कल सो लेट इज सब्सिट्यूट थर्टीन इंटू टू इज वी आर गेटिंग ट्वेंटी सिक्स प्लस टू इंटू पाई वैल्यू इज ट्वेंटी टू बाई सेवन इंटू आर वैल्यू इज थ्री पॉइंट फाइव ओके सो सेवन वन जो सेवन जीरो पॉइंट फाइव वी आर गेटिंग थ्री पॉइंट फाइव सो ट्वेंटी सिक्स प्लस हियर वी आर गेटिंग ट्वेंटी टू इंटू जीरो पॉइंट फाइव वी आर गेटिंग हाफ सो दैट इज हाफ मीन्स हाफ ऑफ ट्वेंटी टू दैट इज इलेवन सो वी आर गेटिंग ट्वेंटी सिक्स प्लस टू इंटू इलेवन वी आर गेटिंग ट्वेंटी टू सो द फाइनल आंसर विल बी फोर्टी एट मीटर स्क्वायर Not square. Since this is a perimeter, it will be in meter itself. So 48 meter we are getting. Total perimeter will be equals to 48 meter, and the total area will be equals to 129.5 meter square.